So what's going up in downtown Jacksonville? There was recently an article that came back or came out by the Jacksonville Daily Record that I found very interesting and it featured seven key developments going on in downtown Jacksonville. My name is Reed Hawkins. I'm a licensed real estate agent here in Northeast Florida with Watson Realty Corp. And today I'd like to go through this video highlighting these seven developments. But first, would you, if you wouldn't mind just subscribing to my channel, it really helps it grow. And that way you can see more content just like this. The first development is called One Riverside and the location is in the former Times Union property and it's, which is within uh, Brooklyn. The first phase of this development includes 270 apartments, a riverfront restaurant, retail space with Whole Foods uh, Market as the anchor. And the first retail phase is scheduled for completion in July of 2024. And the residential is supposed to be done by September of 2025. The next development is called Rise Doro. This is located next to One to One Financial Ballpark which is home of the Jacksonville Jumbo Shrimp, which by the way, if you've never been to one of those games, it's a heck of a time. It's cheap, family-friendly fun. Uh, and it's also near the Veterans Memorial Arena. This development will feature 247 unit apartment building with ground floor uh, for retail, as well as a rooftop pool. The expected completion date for this is October of 2023. So it's getting close. Our next development will be the Miller Electric Center. This is home to the Jacksonville Jaguars and it's gonna be their future practice and training facility. It will also include offices for staff members. And the goal is to move all of the football operations out of the stadium and make way for what is quote unquote, a stadium of the future, presented by Mark Lamp Lamping, who's the president of the Jaguars. This features indoor or an indoor practice field as well as two outdoor natural grass fields and a 2300 seat uh, bleachers for fans. There's also gonna be a team store as well as concession facilities. This is expected to open up this summer, so get ready for excitement in the Jacksonville Stadium. The next development will be the Florida Baptist Convention and Federal Reserve Bank Building. This is located in the North Core neighborhood near City Hall. JWB Capital Real Estate has invested $20 million in this redevelopment project uh, featuring 24 studio apartments, restaurants, and retail uh, to be in the old Baptist Convention property. The Federal Reserve Bank building will feature restaurant and event space. The next development was River's Edge. This is actually mentioned in my previous video. If you wanna check my description, you'll find a link to that. This is a four to $500 million mega project and is expected to start street work this summer. It'll feature 950 residential units, 147 hotel rooms, 200,000 square feet of office space, 134,000 square feet of retail space, a giant 125 slip marina, three public parks facing the St. Johns River, and a fourth park facing the adjacent Mars. The expected, uh, well, there's a, an expected presentation in May featuring the future rendering, so stay on the lookout for that. Next development would be Johnson Commons and Lift Every Voice and Sing Park. The Johnson Commons will be a 91 unit townhome development, and the park will be honoring the Black National Anthem, which was written by brothers and Jacksonville natives, James Weldon Johnson, as well as J. Rosmond Johnson, and they wrote this back in 1905. The expected completion of this is supposed to be the summer of 2025. The next development would be the Four Seasons Hotel, Office, and City Marina, also mentioned in my previous video. This is headed by Shad Khan, the owner of the Jacksonville Jaguars and his Iguana Investments Florida LLC. They have begun uh, horizontal construction on this and they're expected to begin vertical construction by this September. This development will feature 176 hotel rooms in the Four Seasons, 25 for sale luxury condos, which you can feel free to reach out to me for more details on those if you're interested in purchasing one, and a full service spa and restaurant um, space. 
also be a six-story Class A office building. Also included in this development is a city-owned and operated marina, as well as a support building for it. The expected completion date is June of 2026. So for more details on any of these developments or Jacksonville real estate as a whole, please feel free to reach out to me. I'm available call, text, or email. I'm very easy to get a hold of and I'm happy to speak with you. Again, my name is Reed Hawkins. I appreciate you guys watching this video and we'll see you on the next one.